5 billion CFA francs. That's the price tag foreign powers put on Burkina Faso's stability. But they didn't expect the unwavering loyalty of its soldiers. In a shocking turn of events, Burkinabe military personnel were offered a fortune to betray their nation. Their response? A masterful sting operation that exposed a sinister plot and strengthened national unity. A well-dressed man arrives at Ouagadougou International Airport, carrying a suitcase that would soon become the center of a national security crisis. This mysterious visitor, impeccably groomed and exuding an air of importance, claims to be a foreign investor with grand plans for Burkina Faso's infrastructure. His presence immediately catches the attention of airport security personnel who notice something off about his demeanor. As the man makes his way through customs, eagle-eyed officers observe his unusually protective behavior towards his luggage. Their suspicions are further aroused when he fumbles through routine questions about his visit's purpose. Despite his polished appearance, the man's nervousness becomes increasingly apparent. Following standard protocol, security forces discreetly alert their superiors about the suspicious visitor. A quiet investigation begins, tracking the man's movements as he checks into a luxurious hotel in the heart of Ouagadougou. Over the next few days, his actions raise more red flags. Instead of meeting with government officials or visiting potential project sites, he spends most of his time in hushed conversations with various individuals in secluded locations. As authorities dig deeper, they uncover startling information. The suitcase the man guards so carefully contains an astronomical sum, 5 billion CFA francs in cash. This discovery sends shockwaves through Burkina Faso's security apparatus. The sheer amount of money, combined with the man's secretive behavior, points to something far more sinister than the mere infrastructure investment. Further investigation reveals the true purpose of this vast sum. The foreign visitor intends to use the money to bribe Burkina Bay soldiers, attempting to sow discord within the military ranks. As the probe intensifies, connections between the mysterious man and foreign entities with vested interests in the region come to light. These revelations paint a disturbing picture of an orchestrated attempt to destabilize Burkina Faso's government. With the gravity of the situation becoming clear, Burkina Bay authorities ramp up their surveillance efforts. They meticulously monitor the suspect's every move, carefully documenting his interactions and communications. The stakes are high, and the need for discretion is paramount. One wrong move could alert the conspirators and jeopardize the entire operation. As days pass, tension builds among the investigating team. While they have uncovered the basic outline of the plot, its full scope remains frustratingly unclear. Questions linger about the ultimate goals of this foreign interference and the potential reach of the conspiracy within Burkina Faso's own ranks. The nation's security hangs in the balance as authorities race to unravel the complex web of deceit before it's too late. While investigators chase leads, the true test of loyalty unfolds in the barracks. Imagine being a soldier, scraping by on meager pay when a stranger appears with an offer too good to refuse. For some Burkinabe troops, this scenario becomes a stark reality, forcing them to confront their deepest values and the true meaning of patriotism. The mysterious visitor begins to approach select soldiers with a tempting proposition. He offers them vast sums of money in exchange for their loyalty and cooperation in a plan to destabilize the country. For many of these soldiers who struggle with low pay and challenging living conditions, the offer is incredibly alluring. The soldiers now face a difficult moral dilemma. They must choose between the wealth that could change their lives and their sworn duty to protect Burkina Faso. After careful consideration, a group of soldiers makes a courageous decision. They opt to play along with the mysterious man's scheme, not out of greed, but to gather crucial information about the plot. Risking their own safety, these loyal soldiers report the incident to their superiors. They provide detailed accounts of their interactions with the foreign operative, including the amounts offered and the nature of the proposed betrayal. Military leadership quickly recognizes the gravity of the situation and the potential threat to national security. With this intel, Burkina Faso's military brass devises a plan to catch the conspirators red-handed. They instruct the soldiers to continue their meetings with the suspect, carefully documenting each interaction and collecting evidence. Hidden recording devices are provided to capture incriminating conversations. As the operation progresses, the soldiers find themselves walking a dangerous tightrope. They must appear convincingly interested in the offer while avoiding any actions that could be seen as actual treason. Each meeting brings new risks, as the foreign operative grows bolder in his requests and more specific about the planned coup. The stress on these brave soldiers intensifies with every passing day. They know that one wrong move could expose their true intentions and potentially put their lives in danger. Yet, they persist, driven by a sense of duty to their country and fellow citizens. 
As the web of conspiracy grows more complex, so does the challenge of maintaining the charade. The soldiers must constantly be on guard, carefully managing the information they reveal and the promises they make. Their courage and quick thinking are put to the test as they navigate this treacherous path, all while gathering the evidence needed to bring down this threat to Burkina Faso's stability. As the soldiers gather crucial intelligence, Burkina Faso's security forces prepare to turn the tables on the conspirators. The time has come for a high-stakes operation that could determine the country's future. With evidence mounting against the mysterious visitor, authorities set their sights on catching him in the act. A nondescript warehouse on the outskirts of Ouagadougou becomes the focal point of this critical mission. Security forces choose this location for its perceived privacy, making it an ideal setting for the final confrontation. The suspect, unaware of the trap being set, arranges a meeting to hand over the promised 5 billion CFA francs to his recruited soldiers. In preparation for the sting, Burkina Faso's security teams work tirelessly to outfit the warehouse with hidden cameras and recording devices. These tools will capture irrefutable evidence of the suspect's intentions, leaving no room for doubt about the attempted bribery and coup plot. The placement of each device is carefully considered to ensure maximum coverage without raising suspicion. As the day of the meeting arrives, elite security forces take up strategic positions around the warehouse. These highly trained operatives stand ready to intervene at a moment's notice, their presence unknown to the approaching suspect. The air is thick with tension as they await the signal to move in. Inside the warehouse, the meeting begins. The suspect, confident in his scheme, begins to outline the final details of his plan to the soldiers he believes he has turned. He speaks openly about the money and its intended purpose, unaware that every word is being recorded and will soon be used against him. At the crucial moment when the suspect moves to hand over the suitcase filled with cash, the signal is given. In a swift and coordinated action, security forces storm the warehouse from all sides. The suspect, caught completely off guard, finds himself surrounded and quickly apprehended. As the dust settles, authorities seize the 5 billion CFA francs as evidence. This substantial sum, intended to fund chaos and instability, will now serve as a key piece of evidence in the case against the foreign conspirators. The successful execution of this sting operation not only leads to the arrest of the suspect, but also sends a powerful message about Burkina Faso's commitment to protecting its national sovereignty and security. The operation showcases the tactical capabilities of Burkina Faso's security forces in intelligence gathering and undercover operations. Their ability to maintain the pretense of interest in the suspect's offer while gathering critical information demonstrates a high level of professionalism and dedication to the country's safety. The arrest was just the beginning. As investigators dig deeper, they uncover a startling truth about Burkina Faso's natural resources. Why would foreign powers go to such extreme lengths to destabilize this West African nation? As the suspect sits in the interrogation room, he begins to reveal a plot far more extensive than initially thought. The man's connections stretch beyond Burkina Faso's borders, linking him to foreign operatives in neighboring countries. This network aimed to create chaos and undermine the stability of not just Burkina Faso, but the entire region. Further investigation uncovers ties to a group of mercenaries operating in the Sahel. These hired guns, funded by wealthy foreign benefactors, have been involved in various secret operations aimed at toppling governments across West Africa. The scale of this conspiracy sends shockwaves through Burkina Faso's security apparatus. At the heart of this plot lies a sinister goal, control over Burkina Faso's valuable natural resources. The country is rich in gold, manganese, and phosphates, making it an attractive target for foreign powers seeking to exploit its wealth. This revelation sheds light on the true motives behind the attempted coup and the willingness of outside forces to destabilize an entire nation for economic gain. The investigation expands, reaching into other West African countries. As more information comes to light, it becomes clear that Burkina Faso is just one piece in a larger puzzle of regional destabilization. The foreign powers behind this plot aim to create a ripple effect using chaos in Burkina Faso to gain leverage over neighboring nations. This incident exposes the lengths some countries and organizations will go to maintain their grip on power in Africa. It highlights a new form of neocolonialism taking shape in the region, where control over resources is gained through covert operations and political manipulation rather than direct occupation. 
the geopolitical significance of Burkina Faso in West Africa becomes increasingly apparent. Its strategic position and potential for economic growth make it a prime target for foreign exploitation. As the investigation continues, the full scope of the threat to regional security comes into focus, prompting urgent discussions about how to protect the sovereignty of West African nations in the face of such determined outside interference. As the full scope of the foreign plot comes to light, Burkina Faso finds itself at a crossroads. The next steps taken by this West African nation could either leave it vulnerable to further exploitation or transform it into a model of resistance against outside interference. Let's examine the bold moves being made in Ouagadougou. The government of Burkina Faso has launched a full-scale investigation into the network of operatives behind the plot. This demonstrates a serious commitment to national security and sends a clear message that such interference will not be tolerated. The investigation aims to uncover all individuals involved and expose any remaining threats to the country's stability. Security protocols for foreign nationals and investments are under review. Burkina Faso is tightening its borders and increasing surveillance on foreign entities operating within the country. These measures are designed to prevent future attempts at destabilization while maintaining an environment conducive to legitimate foreign investment and cooperation. Recognizing the need for regional cooperation, Burkina Faso has called for greater collaboration among West African nations. The country has reached out to the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, for support in strengthening regional security. This approach acknowledges that the threat extends beyond Burkina Faso's borders and requires a united front to address effectively. In a strategic move, Burkina Faso is exploring partnerships with non-Western powers like China and Russia. This diversification of alliances aims to build a more balanced network of support and reduce vulnerability to Western interference. These new relationships could provide additional resources and expertise to enhance Burkina Faso's defense capabilities. The government is also focused on strengthening its military and intelligence capabilities. By enhancing its ability to detect and neutralize threats before they materialize, Burkina Faso is taking a proactive approach to national security. This includes investing in training, equipment, and technology to create a more robust defense infrastructure. Public awareness campaigns about foreign interference have been initiated. These efforts aim to educate citizens about the risks of external manipulation and the importance of protecting national sovereignty. By involving the public, the government hopes to create a more vigilant and united front against foreign threats. Burkina Faso's response to this crisis demonstrates a comprehensive approach to national security. By addressing both immediate threats and long-term vulnerabilities, the country is positioning itself as a key player in regional stability efforts. The success of these measures could reshape diplomatic relationships in West Africa and serve as a model for other nations facing similar challenges. While Burkina Faso fortifies its defenses, a silent revolution is brewing in West Africa. ECOWAS is considering a game-changing move that could alter the balance of power in the region. The creation of a regional intelligence task force is now on the table, aimed at detecting and neutralizing threats before they escalate. This unprecedented step could transform how African nations protect themselves against foreign interference. The foiled plot in Burkina Faso has sent shockwaves through neighboring countries. These nations are now increasing their vigilance against similar schemes, recognizing the interconnected nature of security in the region. The incident has exposed vulnerabilities in West African security, highlighting the need for increased cooperation to strengthen shared borders and enhance regional defense mechanisms. International allies have taken notice of the situation in Burkina Faso. They are offering support and resources to help the country bolster its security measures. This show of solidarity demonstrates the global community's growing awareness of West Africa's strategic importance in the geopolitical landscape. The attempted coup has sparked important discussions about combating neo-colonialism in Africa. Many nations are now re-evaluating their relationships with foreign powers and seeking ways to protect their sovereignty and natural resources from external exploitation. This shift in thinking could lead to significant changes in how African countries approach international partnerships and economic agreements. Burkina Faso is emerging as a key player in regional stability efforts. President Ibrahim Traoré is advocating for collective action among West African nations to safeguard their independence. This proactive stance is reshaping diplomatic relationships in the region, as countries recognize the need for unity in the face of external threats. The incident has also prompted Burkina Faso to diversify its alliances. The country is strengthening ties with non-Western powers like China and Russia, aiming to build a more balanced support network. This strategic move could influence other African nations to reassess their diplomatic relationships and seek partnerships that better serve their national interests. 
As West African countries work together to address these security challenges, the region is poised for significant changes in how it approaches national and collective defense. The coming months will be crucial in determining whether this newfound unity and vigilance can effectively deter future attempts at destabilization and protect the sovereignty of these nations. The foiled plot in Burkina Faso reveals important lessons about national security and sovereignty. The country's swift response and the loyalty of its soldiers demonstrate the strength of its institutions. Burkina Faso has emerged from this crisis with a renewed sense of unity and purpose. The government's efforts to enhance security measures and foster regional cooperation show a commitment to long-term stability. However, challenges remain. The incident highlights the ongoing threats faced by resource-rich African nations. Burkina Faso and its neighbors must remain vigilant against foreign interference. The country's moves to diversify alliances and strengthen regional ties are positive steps. Yet, protecting national sovereignty requires constant effort and adaptation. As Burkina Faso continues to build its defenses, it serves as an example for other nations facing similar pressures. The country's experience underscores the importance of strong leadership, effective intelligence gathering, and international cooperation in safeguarding national interests.